Of course, one of the great things about flying Concorde was that we were at 60,000 feet, which is on the very edge of space itself. So when we used to look out of the window, we could actually see the curvature of the Earth below us. And if we looked up, we could actually see the very blackness of space itself. And in the autumn and the spring, we would drive to work and we'd watch the sun go down and we'd actually take off in darkness. But as we accelerated towards New York at twice the rotational speed of the Earth, we would actually see the sun rise again in the west and we'd land in daylight and on our way to the hotel in New York we would watch the sun set again on us that day for the second time and it's things like that that you only would ever get flying Concorde or of course these days on the space shuttle. And, and what does she, she mean to you? Um... Well we've all got very personal memories of her. For me it's been my most enjoyable time flying so far uh, in British Airways and uh, it's just a great shame obviously she's not flying now but we all understand why. And uh, what do you think of a new home? I think the facility here is absolutely fantastic. Not only is she housed in a superb hangar, but the educational facilities as well attached to uh, the complex here at Manchester Airport is absolutely outstanding. And I'm sure many hundreds of thousands of visitors are really going to get to enjoy it.